All right, guys, welcome back to Beautiful Mind. Today, we're going to be talking about um, these amazing lines. And what are they? Well, these are all the trend lines. And uh, you can see that uh, Mr. Gann has these forms. And uh, when we use these angles that uh, form the square, then we can find points where changes in trend can occur. In form three, this is the bear side and pointing out these 45 degree angles and the one times two, the three times one, which is an incredibly important angle. Same with the one times three going down here. So this is on the bear side. Goes on even further to show some other forms strongest position in a bear market above the 45 degree angle and in form six where we take other angles and put them on other tops and bottoms this one's in bottoms and where they cross you will note that price typically fluctuates in that area and you can also see that on uh, further forms form seven you know we're putting on our 45 and 1 times 2 angles from 0. This is what William Gann is teaching you. And where they cross, you can also find points in time where it's weak and strong. So here, same thing on Form 8. Once we pass the 45 degree angle, we would install another 45 degree angle and find a buying point. On Form 9, this is a monthly format. After so many months, six, you drive, put another draw, another 45 degree angle on this 45 degree angle, and therein you can find a top. Notice our one times two angle captured the bottom. Let's go look at form 10. Form 10 is much the same as running a divergent line. That's exactly the same. So here, the acid made top, drew our 45. From our first sharp decline, we drew a 45. And you can find an area where you can buy. That's form of 10. Form 11 is much the same when I'm making a top and looking for a sharp decline. When it gets weak, below the 45 degree angle here, as you can see, We've come up on a one times two angle here and crossed it. So a one times two and a one times one angle is put on. And from these, not getting above the second top here shows great weakness, especially not breaking this top. This angle is very important for us to buy back to sell again against later. So there again, running a parallel line on our 45. This is showing an area where we can find a buying opportunity and right back to our last bottom. So, square of the range, right? So, a stock or commodity is going up and uh, has a range of say 12 points. Well, we go out 12 days, 12 weeks, 12 months, or 12 years, and we just, we find points in time where trend changes can occur. Okay, so looking at that now, uh, we're going to just talk about the Bitcoin here, and you can see that uh, on this, I have, I have made this so that the angles represent 45 degree angles with the asset. This is our uh, 1 times 2 angle and this is a 1 times 4 angle. I didn't draw a 1 times 3 angle on here because they're starting to get a little busy. There is however um, a 1 times 3 angle from our bottom here. Here's our 1 times 2 angle. Here's our 1 times 1. Here's a 1 times 2 angle here's a one times one angle. Okay, so you can see now by doing the same things that Mr. Gann is talking about we can find 
these tops. Speaking about form 9. So, all you have to do is set up your charts the very same way. And uh, we can find when the weakness occurs. You can see on this 45 degree angle here, once we actually passed through this angle and it crossed over here, our 1 times 2 angle, we weren't able to break over our old tops, right? We, we came down, we had a vicious move, and we came back up. I ran this 1 times 2 angle and it came back up over, and we sat on this 1 times 4, and we haven't been able to get above this, this old topping area here. And sure enough, right, when we got up to this area again, we couldn't get above this top. That indicated great weakness. Just like this form right here. It came up, made top, and once you break through this, yeah, it's, uh, it's down. And we were talking about this, you know. Expecting that we were going to continue on and by the, you know, this April period, we could have been up to 80 and 100,000, certainly, but uh, we didn't break above these tops, and you can show, and, and this shows, right, the weakness. And I ran these angles down, and we made another top here, right? This angle crossed right over this 45-degree angle here, and we have another crossing of other angles in here. So getting below this area shows what? Well, weakness. And where can we see, you know, where can we see this subtle? Well, it looks most likely like this 50, 55, 53. This, this area right here is, uh, is of great importance, you know. So I've ran our angle down here. Now, it's not necessarily meaning that that's where we're going to go. But there's a lot of crossings in this area. And the asset is staying within this 45 degree angle and this 45 degree angle. And it's staying above this 1 times 2 angle right now. But it looks like it's coming down to make contact with our angles down here. So... We have also, <clears throat> excuse me, speaking about the uh, middle of May here, we have on the 12th, you know, a one, two, and three year swing bottoms, as I showed you in our previous tutorials, that, uh, you know, in May we have a lot of volatility, and by the 4th I expect that we're going to have a lower swing top, and uh, this could be this 62 63 area and we can possibly make it up as high as 65 i mean it could happen we could have a miraculous swing up dead cat bounce and then uh, and then continue to move down to as i'm indicating or the chart is indicating and the cycle you know the one two and three years i've showed you we typically get a very violent and uh, quick move down so I would expect it to match our old bottom here and uh, sit on our old top and in our channel here and uh, you know it's possible we come back and retest this old top you know it's uh, you know as we move over you know it's we certainly could get into this area you know, it's possible. You know, our building block area is is this 38,000, right? And the last building block area we have, right, is 24,000, right? And it's, uh, this has been our, uh, this has been our building block area. We've uh, come back to this a few times, right? And 
initially we made top here this was our first top right from our bottoms here right where I forecasted these these were our right our 12 13 14 and 15 month bottoms from our tops right they re-repeated you go back and look at my uh, tutorials and I found all these bottoms right I made that May 20 May 2nd 2022 I believe and found all these bottoms anyways guys it's not difficult to forecast the movement and finding the building blocks and this is our next building block right here right above our 31 right this we haven't tested this again we did not test this so our new building block area is right here this is where we sat back down and that's our new cycle right so and now I've terminated some of these 45 degree angles you know on these uh, bottoming areas and uh, they also are uh, indicating you know an area where an end of a trend or a time period can square out and we can have a change in trend and uh, I'm certainly looking for one around this 12th to the 15th and uh, you know the reason for that is you know it's 62 days from our top and I was talking about that right 62 days and uh, we're gonna have a low in here and there's a couple of planets that are gonna be uh, together so we have the Sun and we have the planet of major change and transportation and radic changes which is Uranus these two will be together and I expect you know we're gonna have uh, a first major low but uh, first we're gonna have our little swing top here right means going to come back to this area again I was telling you right watch out for that anyways uh, that's just what I feel you know and uh, looking at what's going on here I uh, I feel that May June and July especially May and June particularly we're gonna be uh, making some bottoms and uh, you know this 52 53 area this is a terrific area to buy and uh, you know, on our square of nine, it uh, it clearly states that 53 is 180 degrees from uh, our top. So, you know, I expect this this area to be well retested. This is kind of our building block area right now, and right? and from this area right here, you know, a 20 percent pullback you know that's what we're looking for again right a 20 percent pullback that would be back to 53 like we're talking and uh, it just seems that it's uh, it's really likely impossible right it just really looks like it and I think that would be a great area for us to uh, to watch and look for a buying opportunity not necessarily will it be our bottom but it's probably going to be somewhere close not to forget that we have june right and into june we have uh, always had bottoms right going back three years i showed you guys this in the last tutorial so you know we have a 45 degree angle terminating here and another one that's further out and into the beginning of July so once we cross these angles and uh, time has squared out with these tops then uh, I think big moves will uh, will certainly occur and this is just you know my observation of uh, the asset and when we do the same things that William was doing with his angles we're uh, we're able to find areas where they're likely to revisit 
anyways guys I hope you enjoyed that I'm gonna try not to make these too long but uh, in doing so 